folks, here we go. Shooting on a DJI Osmo Pocket today because the damn GoPro bricked itself. So the video has a little bit of different look and feel. And I think I got this thing set on 4K 60 frames per second. So I guess that's not a fair fight because I usually film at 24 frames. But this joker today is going to be shooting 60 frames. Let's see if I can remember how to get this thing to operate here. Oh yeah, just a one click. One click and it flips around. It's got this little tiny screen on it. And also, it's not as a wide angle lens as the GoPro. So a little bit... A little bit more difficult to make sure you're in frame, but you know you have this little little screen here. The screen's so tiny it's hard to see. Got the young lady here rolling in the electric trike, which uh, we we're taking a look at those electric trikes. If we don't end up moving in a couple of months, we may if we decide to stay, I'm gonna pick up one of those electric trikes. So I can roll the roll this, the crew strong, you know, just up to the mark and back. I don't I don't gotta bother Jason for every little thing that we need to do, folks. It is a absolute beautiful day here in the Philippines. I mean, it is hot in the sunshine and it's cool in the shade uh, with the with a cool breeze coming through. You can't ask for a better day. And I know some of you in the U.S. are already experiencing some cold weather. And my heart goes out to you. Because, you know, I've been living in uh, Southeast Asia for so long, I don't even remember seasons. Um, you know, I, I can be at the beach on Christmas Day, not even real, realize it's Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, shit, and you guys are over there sitting by the fireplace with a fresh load of firewood. So, uh, them big old trees right there. And they were smart to put that checkpoint under those those huge shade trees. All right, next stop is uh, Sawmill Market area. All right, folks, coming into the market area here at Sawmill. And we're not going to be trying to get across the river into Barrio Barreto, running the gauntlet at the checkpoint over there. It's just going to be an easy day. Be a right turn and head north. And just to give you a look at the traffic backed up at the checkpoint. We're heading north. There's my market area right there. When we come back through, i got to go see the... My friend over there to see if she's gonna come join us on the, the cooking show but traffic's not backed up too bad you know but again if I'm going to Subic easy day no need for the fucking quarantine pass or any of that bullshit just getting across that bridge into Barrio Barreto the, it's the the leftover ridiculousness of this. And I'll go ahead and shoot outside. I'll go ahead and shoot outside the right side of the aircraft and maybe I'll put it to music. And sometimes you're probably thinking, why does this guy shoot so much footage? There's no action. It's just buildings going by. Folks, you gotta you gotta understand. I got a lot of older, you know, old timers on this channel that used to live here back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, whenever they were stationed here uh, with the United States military, and so this is their old stomping ground. So to you, it's just merely a business going by or an old building. You know, to them, it could have been uh, their old apartment from the 70s or an old bar that they partied at. And then number two, you know, I've got some OFW friends watching from various places around the globe, you know, the Middle East, Taiwan, and they're from here. 
and they certainly love watching this footage because it's where their home is and I know they sit there and look real close and maybe see a neighbor or two on the footage so that's another reason I, I shoot you know point A to point B footage and just let it roll especially when I'm shooting 60 frames because when you're shooting 60 frames per second if you pause it it should be a crystal clear photo I mean you can just hit hit pause play pause play and go frame by frame and looking at crystal clear photos so there's a reason behind the madness I'm not just doing it to fill you know to to, to fill airtime and if it don't apply to you then you know just feel free to skip ahead to the to the parts that maybe have some more action or more suitable to your taste. Have I been up here to Subic? I guess, uh, you know, coming up on three months now. So I'm kind of anxious to see what's going on. What the vibe is up here in Subic Town. And folks, if you're not familiar and you're just joining me and you don't take the time to look at the map, when I say Subic Bay, Subic Bay is not actually a town. You know, I live when I say I live on Subic Bay, Subic Bay is the bay, the water. North of where I live is Subic Town, and south of where I live is Alongapo. And Alongapo is where the Navy base used to be, which is now called SBMA. Uh, so I may confuse some people when I say I'm, you know, coming to you from Subic Bay and you think it's a town. It's not actually the town. You know, my address is Subic, but understand Subic Town is way north where we're headed. Um, anyhow, just to clear up any confusion there, obviously on the south side of the river is Barrio Barreto, which most people are familiar with. But when you're trying to pick a location for these videos, you can only pick one location, right? So if I start out at my place over there, at the penthouse suite, and then I drive all the way to Subic Town, and then I go back down to Barrio Barreto, okay, well what's the best location to uh, title the video? And I just put Subic Bait. The Subic Bay is off to the left side of the aircraft. And that's the best location because it's a general area that everybody understands. You know, my previous videos, when this lockdown started, or let's see if the two and two is open. Folks, it looks like the 2 in 2 Scuba Beach Resort is open. That is good news. I got to stop by there maybe on the way back and see if they're serving Bulalo. And if they are, then we're going to have to take the ladies over there to get some Bulalo and say hi to my friends over there and see if Ariza. Our buddy Riza, the waitress, is over there working. Be good to see her. And we're coming into the downhill stretch right here. Into Kalapandayan. And folks, this is where like the front of the buildings are just kind of shaved off. And if you're not thinking about it, you'll be like, why the fuck did they do that? Well, it's because they widened the road. They widened the road, so the front of these buildings here had to go. They were sticking out too far. And like that one right there, you can see the, the paintings on the wall inside. But that's why, the, that's why the front of the buildings are cut off here. It's because of this roadway widening project. And a lot of them still haven't been rehabbed or redone. So that's why you see like walls chopped. It's all dependent on how close they were to the roadway. Yeah, 
a Honda Click. Honda Click is a great motorbike. You know, I've been riding them things for years over in Thailand. If you're looking for a good overall motorbike that's an automatic, whether you're here in Thailand, uh, I do recommend a Honda Click. Great little motorbike. Got a lot of pep to it. Good suspension. I have a buddy who uh, rents motorbikes out over in Thailand. Shout out to you, buddy. You know, he knows who, who I'm talking to. He's got a bunch of motorbikes for rent, like 30 or 40 of them. And when I was going to buy a motorbike years ago, you know, I was asking him about which one to get. And he said, look, just make sure you get a Honda. He said, the Yamahas are pretty good, but we have problems with the motors. He said, the Hondas we never have any fucking problems with. I mean, that's pretty much a given. You can't beat a damn Honda motorcycle, motorbike generator. But if you're kind of on the fence between a Honda and a Yamaha, longevity-wise, according to my buddy, go with the Honda. If you plan on keeping it for a long time. All right, good seeing all these businesses open here. Good seeing Jeepneys back in action. It's good to see that there's not 30 people standing in line trying to get a few pesos out of the ATM machines. That is really good to see. Off to the right side of the aircraft is City Hall. And if you're looking for the post office, right through there. To the right of the green building, to the left of the City Hall, in the back is the post office. Yeah, folks, things are looking up here. Looking up here in uh, Subic Town. Got an ambulance headed south. Either headed to Our Lady of Lords or over to SBMA. Hope everybody in the back of that ambulance is okay. Coming up on the Pure Gold, off to the right side of the aircraft. Good to see that there's not 40 people standing in line to get in there and try to get them some groceries. Uh, shout out to my foreign guy friend I just passed. Going for a walk. Looks like that birthing home might be open. I'm gonna stop in there and check things out, folks. Great place to meet meet women. Birthing home. Oh, I know I'm terrible, but after three months, she'll just be a single mom. What's the difference? Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful day here. I am so glad I decided to get out and go for a ride. And basically the, the, the purpose for me going for a ride is I want to find some shrimp over at the Subic Public Market. I want to put some shrimp on the bobby. What about a little shrimp on the bobby? Jeepney rolling strong. Got them plastic dividers in there. More remnants of stupidity and ridiculousness. Almost to the Walton Mart. I need to go check on my buddy Johnny up there at the bamboo shop and see how he's doing. Hope he's doing all right. They were doing a real good business before this shutdown. A little bit of lap traffic here before we make a, make a safe and smooth left-hand turn into the wall park. And boom, those ATM machines are look like they're online and no lines.
All right, folks, loose up in the Walt Mart. Now, you got to have a face shield, obviously, anywhere in the Philippines. Got to have a face shield, come up in these, well, anywhere. But actually, they got a decent temperature taker. You just put your hand, you put your hand in front of this temperature probe, don't touch it, and then they've got the uh, alcohol stuff with a step thing. So at least they got it going on. But you know what? If you want to feel stupid, if you want to feel like an idiot, just go out and about and wear this fucking face shield when you're trying to go get some damn groceries. I mean, I know over in the West, over in the States, you got to wear that fucking mask. Think about how stupid you feel wearing that mask. Well, put a goddamn welder's helmet on like I'm wearing right now. Let me show you something. See how fucking, see how fucking stupid I feel? All right, let me go do my business. I'll be right back. All right, folks. Picked up some uh, butane cylinders for my cooking show for that little uh, outdoor grill. Not grill, the outdoor burner. They're like 90 pesos, 94 pesos. They're not cheap in there. It's much cheaper to order them from Lazada. But I didn't have any, so uh find a Lamborghini here. I went ahead and picked up a few. I'll just order some from Lazada. But we'll check that off the list. Ah, folks, you gotta wear a fucking face shield up in that place. And then when you go into, uh, let's go to the Subic Market, my friend. When you go into Ace Hardware, you gotta sign in. You know, they come up with these health slips, right? Well, guess what? Everybody using the same fucking pin. So instead of just walking in there and doing your business and not can, having to touch a contaminated surface, you got to fucking sign in. If you don't have your own pin, use the community pin. And now to pass fucking 200 people, you know, you're touching their, what they're touching. How many times I got a bitch about this? There ain't no fucking rhyme or reason to none of this fucking shit. All right, enough bitching. Get my shades on. I'm gonna roll over and see if I can't pick up some shrimp for the ladies. But you know what's wonderful is there were not 25, 30 people standing in line at that ATM machine. And the tricycle place over here is back to being the tricycle place instead of the 100 people waiting area. We actually got jeepneys pulling up. I tell you folks, I feel a shift in the force. Progress is going forward even here in the Philippines. All right, now I'll take this, this uh, opportunity to shoot off to the right side of the aircraft. For anybody who's living up here in Subic Town, want to see their old hometown. A little lap traffic here. Jason's gonna try to gonna try to take him on the outside. Coming into turn three, and Earnhardt takes him on the outside. construction right there. Not sure if that Red Doors branded hotel was open or not. I couldn't tell. Car wash is open. Gentleman over there cleaning up a unit. Cause they're working at the car wash. Yeah. Little uh, 
uh, shop right there. Got a lot of camo type clothing. It's not army surplus. It's all new. They got a, little, a lot of little bags and stuff. Camouflage. That type of military type stuff. Be like that type of gear. Backpacks. Shoulder bags. Gentleman got a piece of fencing. Oh yeah, check out that Victory Liner going to Iba. Man, that is so good to see Victory Liners back on the JLB. That is such a good good sight. Told you folks, I'm feeling a shift in the force. Got beautiful ladies everywhere up here in Subic Town. Coming into the market area. And today is Monday. Just to tell you the day of the week so you can gauge how much activity is going on. Good to see the jeepneys lined up. And can he deliver me straight to the front? Looks like he can. So that is good. On the way out, I'm going to stop over see if my lady friends working the Buko stand are back in action. Hopefully they're over there. But I'm on the hunt for some shrimp, folks. So here we go. business here usually this is my shrimp spot back here usually get it from these folks right here but I don't mind sharing the love and changing it up you know don't mind doing that at all All right, folks, and this young lady's got the big ones for 380 a kilo. And they look like they fit on my grill pretty well. So, uh, yeah, let's go with one kilo if you don't mind. Okay. Take a look at them guys right there, folks. Those are going on the grill. That's a big shrimp right there. Only one kilo, sir? Yeah, just one kilo. I'm just, I'm just cooking for tonight. It's good shrimp, sir. Yeah, that's good looking shrimp. What you got right here? What are these right here? Uh, only 50 peso per plate. 50 peso. 50 per plate? Yes, sir. What kind of fish is Super that? Per plate. Yeah, but what kind of fish is that? Uh, we call that lapis. Lapis. Lapis? Yes, sir. That's good for the for the grill or just for frying? For frying or grill. But this, small, this one is good for grill. And what's that right there? Talakito. Talakito? Yes, sir. How much is it? 250 for all of those? Yes, sir. Good for grill. This one is good for fries. Okay. What about this stingray over here? How much that guy? 180. 180? One and one fourth. Huh. Okay, I don't know how to cook that stingray though. I guess I'll have to figure it out. Sir, one kilo, sir. Okay, let me, and folks, let's just see. One kilo right there for 380, right? Okay, and just give me one, give me one plate of these guys right here. Yeah, because my wife, she likes to fry the fish. Okay. And those are 50 a plate? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. All right, folks, I'm going to get some fish over here, too. And he's pulling them straight out of that cooler, which is a good sign. I'm putting them on the scale. So those fish have been on ice all day long right there. So? Yeah. 
220, sir. 220? Yes, sir. Okay, how many? Okay. All right, hold on. Let me see how many fish I got. All right, folks, so 2.2 kilos. 2.2 kilos, and that's how many fish we got. 50 pesos per kilo. Seedless, sir. Seedless is, seedless. seedless is how much? 50 pesos per kilo. 50, pe 50 per kilo? Yes, sir. But, and these right here are 200? Uh, yes, sir. 200 on one piece. Which one, which one is cheaper? Cheaper? Which, which is mas barato? Seedless. That one's mas barato? Uh. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me, let me take that one right there. You want? Uh, yeah, I want mas barato. <laughs> All right, folks. I wasn't going to pick up a watermelon, but I needed I needed these lemons here. Now they're four for 50 pesos, so basically four for a buck. But I need those for the shrimp. The shrimp and the butter. Let me see how much this weighs in it. How, three kilos. Three kilos for 180? Yes, sir. And that's that's better than the other one? Yes, sir. Seedless because it's seedless, sir. Because it's seedless? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I'll take, yummy, sir. Yummy. All right, I'll take that one. <laughs> Folks, just good looking. Good looking produce here. All right, folks. So 50 plus 180 is 230. Papaya, sir. Papaya. How much is that? 60 per kilo. Mm. Hold on. Let me let me think about. It. All right, folks. So so 50, 50, 180. Okay, 50 on the lemons, 180 on the uh, watermelon, watermelon, and then how much for the papaya? 85, sir. 85 on the papaya. So the total of 315. So total of 315. Alright folks, I got my fish. I got my shrimp. And I got talked into picking up some vegetables, which is not a bad thing. Let me see if I can find the Lamborghini. Okay, alright. Well, where is he? Oh yeah, he's back down here where I left him. Here's a look around at all the fishing boats. A little windy today. It's a little bit windy. But I think I got me some good deals here at the Subic Market for the barbecue tonight. That I'll be bringing, bringing it to you. Maybe we'll bring it to you live from the penthouse suite. I'll put these dudes here so they don't leak fish juice on my backpack. Alright folks, we got my fish right here riding shotgun. It's just so hard to see on this little screen to tell if I'm in frame or not. Got the fish riding shotgun over here so if they leak out, they can they can leak out down there. Plenty of vegetables. I say vegetables. Is a lemon a vegetable? No, that's a fruit. And a papaya and a watermelon. All right, so, so here we go. And again, it's probably a little windy. I don't know if I had the wind feature on. Shit, I don't know. But just give you a look around the back side of the market. It's going to take it around the back. Got some folks taking a little nap right there. Probably been working all night fishing. Folks, I told you earlier, well, I don't know if I told you, I guess I did tell you. I broke the damn GoPro this morning. Just dropped it in the bathroom floor. Went in there to, went in there to brush my damn teeth and ended up dropping the GoPro. Just not a good day. And then in the market, I dropped this DJI Osmo Pocket right on the hard concrete. Slash tile, oh, whatever the hell it was. I'm gonna have to go home and do a function check on this guy and make sure it hasn't screwed up the gimbal. It's just been <laughs> been a bad luck day between me and my camera equipment. My goodness. My goodness, I'm so bouncy up in here. Alright, got the popo over there to the right. Yeah, is that my friend over there on the buco? Uh, no, it looks like some other folks working on the buco, sh the buco stand where she's usually at. So we'll just pass that up. 
I'd love to have me some juice right now, but we have to uh, stop by the vegetable market and talk to my my friend over there. She, she's going to come hang out, making a make a guest appearance on the award winning cooking show. pediatric ambulance there hope that baby or that child and that ambulance is okay so again I'll be shooting off to the right side of the aircraft I'll try to narrate it to keep it interesting if not we'll put it to some music but again, doing it for the benefit of my friends around the world who are from Subic, or they used to live here back in the day. And I hope I got the right angle on the dangle. On this here uh, little camera. Did that video last week about life is so much simpler if you're shooting your videos on your iPhone, it really is. You want to shoot YouTube videos, edit and publish them? So much easier if you just do everything on your phone. Resort. Yeah, folks, they're open. Got customers. That's a great sign. Windy day out on Subic Bay, so you got some some uh, light chop, light chop out there. And Ricky Racer takes him on the outside on the number 103 car. Comes back in, cuts off uh, Jimmy Johnson there in the trike. And he's got the hammer now, folks. Oh, Ricky Racer in that jeepney. Got a trash truck off to the right side of the aircraft. May not look like a garbage truck you're used to, but that is a garbage truck here in many places in the Philippines. In America, we'd call that a dump truck, but over here it serves as a trash truck. Dude over there on the hand crank wheel, pumping out some water for a shower. And we take Ricky Racer. But if you just wait long enough, Ricky Racer gonna come back around us again. It's gonna be a neck and neck flip flopping race. Got that rice strapped on the back of that. Oh man, that barber shop is open and there's two Kuyas in there with no customers. When I got up today, it was my intent to go get a haircut. Oh, them gentlemen in there too. You got one customer. On the way back, I'll check and see if my little barber over there by the house, if he's not busy, I'm stopping in there and getting a goop it. Give me a goop it. Oh shit, we got Ricky Racer back there. No, I've got another another truck hot on our heels. 29.25 on the blue diesel. Blue gasoline, 43.77. Go 
coming in this little curve, this little curve here. Good to see all these little local checkpoints to the side alleys. They seem to be gone. That was the biggest waste of time and manpower in the history of manpower. Putting little individual checkpoints going through these alleys. Yeah. But, you know, go back on the videos. Every one of them alleys had their own checkpoint. There's a 7-Eleven. Can't tell if the uh, resort right there is open or not. Lady in the pink had some ink on her shoulder. Saw that Batman emblem on that trike. You know, every time I see a Batman emblem now, like Faye was wearing a Batman shirt the other day, all I think about was that jackass and his associates in Cambo, see him reap Cambodia that scammed us on that boat trip. I love Cambodia, but the national sport there is ripping off tourists uh, at a level never seen before on ripping off tourists. You know, you come here, you look like the new tourist, whatever. Yeah, the Manila taxi is going to jump all over you. You know, for rides, 100 pesos, I'm going to try to get three. It's like a factor of three or four to rip you off. And those are the worst ones. You go to Cambodia, they will try to rip you off a factor of 10, a factor of 15, a factor of 20. With no fucking remorse, no conscience about it. Look you straight in, you eye, in the eye, telling you it's a good deal. go to Cambo, be wary. Somebody quotes you a price of a hundred bucks, probably normally costs about seven. And that would include the tip. Salome Bar, not sure if it's open or not. Wow, 50 pesos on shorts, 35 pesos on uh, boxer shorts, on new draws. If anybody's in the market, All right, see if you'll whip it around here. All right, folks, so I talked to my friend over there at the at the vegetable market. And she's just been tired up working. She's been tired up working, but uh, I'm trying to get her over there on the show. She is a beautiful girl. Says she can cook. All right, folks, so on the way back to the crib. On the way back to the crib, I got to rouse the, the old lady and Faye, get them to get this fish squared away. And we got to get some ooling for the grill. Now, I said it right that time. It's called ooling, which is charcoal. I usually say canding, which is a goat. But for some reason, I get those terms mixed up. I mean, you can put a canding on the grill, but <laughs> that, that, that's a goat. You can barbecue a goat, no problem. Candings do go on grills. But ooling is charcoal. I need to make I need to make sure that we have some charcoal. And folks, the jury's still out whether or not I screwed this little camera up. I sure hope I didn't. But if I did, I did. I'll go pull my phone, my iPhone out of my pocket and it hopefully won't let me down. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, if you could hit that overstay road sign, hit that notification bell, because I don't wear no watch and I ain't got no production schedule. Oh, watch them dogs right there. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Special thanks goes out to all 26,900 plus folks who took the time to subscribe to our channel. We certainly appreciate it. And we love each and every one of you. 
folks, I got a low battery light, so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Hope you're having a great day, great morning, wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we call planet Earth. Peace out, my friends.